Today, I will show you how to find the error code history of your boiler. The first step is to access the parameters of the boiler. To do this, press and hold down the radiator plus and minus buttons until the screen displays P01. You are now in the parameter mode. The error code history begins at parameter 32. Press the radiator plus button to advance parameters. In this case, we can hold down the button to advance parameters quickly to 32. Once there, seven different numbers will flash on the screen. The first one will be C00. This is the error storage number in order from C00 to C09. The second number flashing is the actual error code. The third number is the consecutive error code counter of the same error. This tells you how many times consecutively this error has occurred. The fourth number tells you how many days have passed since the error. The next number is the system status, followed by the system phase, and finally, the temperature of the boiler at the time that the error code occurred. I can then press the radiator plus button to advance to the next error code, C01, and it will show the seven different numbers for that error. This boiler can store up to 10 errors. Continue pressing the radiator plus button to access errors all the way to C09. Now C00 through C06 are what we call anomaly codes. These will not register on the front display and do not require a soft lockout or a hard reset. C07 through C09 are your hard lockout errors. Those are the ones that require a reset button to be pressed. On this boiler, it has an error 110, which is an overheat temperature sensor. C08 is 133, which was a flame failure and C09 displays 000, which means this machine has only had two error codes requiring a reset. To exit the parameters mode, press the power reset button one time and you will be back to the main screen. In the service manual, there is a page you can print listing the parameter numbers and error code number descriptions so that you can log the numbers as they flash. You can also write them down in your own log to reference later. If you have any other questions, please refer to your installation and user manual that comes in the box.